In this video, we will convert a complex number from Cartesian form to the polar form. So here we have a complex number minus 1 plus minus 1 minus iota. So we can say that this will be equal to x plus iota y, where x is the real part and y is the imaginary part of complex number. Or we can say that x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 1. So this complex number can be expressed as a point on the plane in which the x component is minus 1 and y component is also minus 1. And if we plot this point on a complex plane then we have x minus 1 as a x component and minus 1 as a y component. So this point is lying in the third quadrant of the plane and it is making an angle theta with the positive x-axis we cannot take this angle which is uh, anti-clockwise because this is more than pi so we will take the clockwise angle which is less than pi now first of all we will find the modulus of this complex number which is r is equal to x square plus y square so r is equal to square root of r is square root of x square plus y square and then we have minus 1 instead of x and minus 1 in place of y so we have r is equal to square root of square of minus 1 which is 1 and square of minus 1 is again 1 so r is equal to the square root of 1 plus 1 which is square root of 2 so the modulus of this complex number is square root of 2 now we will calculate the angle which is theta or argument of z so theta is equal to tan inverse y upon x or we can say that theta can be expressed as tan inverse minus 1 upon minus 1 or this will be equal to minus 3 pi by 4 now any complex number x plus iota y can be expressed as r times cos theta plus iota sin theta which is the polar form of the complex number so the complex number minus 1 minus iota is equal to root 2 times cos of minus 3 pi by 4 plus iota sine minus 3 pi by 4 so this is the polar form of the complex number minus 1 minus iota 